here so it doesn't get my camera wet. Hopefully you can still see. I'm gonna roll my window up here and see if we can see through the powder. I'm gonna get my defroster on high. Otherwise it's gonna frost up and I won't be able to see and I'll have to stop. And that's when you get stuck, when you've gotta stop. I'm gonna try to wipe off the lens here. I see it's all screwed up. So sorry about that. That's the best I can do, one-handed. I gotta slow down a little bit because it takes my windshield wipers a little while to catch up to the powder. This is pretty typical conditions up here in the winter time in the UP. I get stuck a lot and as you saw from my last video, I know how to get myself out. Um, the key is to keep your momentum going, get some good speed, some nice RPMs, and you can plow through snow much deeper than this. However, this snow here is pretty bad because it's pretty sticky. And also, the key is when you stop on sticky snow, you need to hurry up and throw it in reverse and make yourself a nice padded down track. If you wait even a split second, that snow will pack down in front of your tire, the front tires and the rear tires in front there. And it will pack down so much behind and in front that you won't even be able to move unless you get out with your shovel. So, you have to keep your momentum, and if you have to stop for some reason, then you need to hurry up and rock it back and forth and make yourself a nice little pad to start again. And if you're not able to do that, then your next option is to get out with your trusty shovel. Never go anywhere in the wintertime without a shovel in snowy conditions. Woo, we're gonna hit a tree here. I gotta keep going though. Hopefully I don't get sucked off here. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, so this should be a good demonstration. I'm gonna slowly go backwards, get back on the trail, and off I go again. Don't want to stop too long. I'm trying to get my momentum back up to where it was. Right now it's a little iffy. Um, just to let you know, this is Hog Island Road. It's a county road in Mackinac County, and it's on the border. It's um, actually in Hendricks Township, near Hudson Township. Whoa. Okay, so sometimes our county roads up here are like this. And this is much better than what we refer to as a two-track. A two-track would just have two wheel tracks and we often drive in those kinds of roads. And that is the type of road I just came from. This one here is more heavily traveled. And I'm having some visibility issues here. I'm gonna slow down. I'm kind of getting not too far from, first of all, Orchard Lake Road and then the Snowmobile Trail. I just passed the pipeline, the gas pipeline. I know my area very well. I know all the two tracks in the eastern UP up to about Eldred County, Schoolcraft County, and a few in that those counties also. So Chippewa, Luce, Mackinac, I know just about every two track in those counties. Mackinac County is the longest county in the state at 117 miles. It's one of the most beautiful, and I believe it has the third largest shoreline. Um, whoa, here, let's see. I've got a little visibility issue. When my visibility reduces, I have to slow down, which causes me to sink in the snow deeper. And um, I'm gonna make the curve here at Orchard Hill. Orchard Hill's off to my left, and off I go. Got to catch up some speed here. I'm going to have to go up a little bit of a hill. And I'm also in a wide open area. Go ahead. Uh, conservation officers do have, whoa, uh, training. Um, we don't always have winter training like this. I'm trying to crest this hill. And once I crest the hill, I'll be able to gain some momentum again. Go ahead. Do you feel that chatter bump? That's First quite I common. See if I can turn that down for you. And I'm patrolling for snowmobiles today, and also bobcat hunters, and coyote hunters, and rabbit hunters, and anyone else who's out recreating with a four-wheeler or snowmobile. Um, I have my survival kit with me in case anyone needs help. I have my four-wheeler in the back with the winch on it. Um, I would rather have my snowmobile, but... Out of Alpena, 426 of 83. The state of Michigan didn't have any money for some slides this year, so I'll turn the radio down a little bit. 
well, visibility issue here. And you get very good after many years of doing this. Uh, you don't want to rev the engine too hard or you'll blow it off, so you gotta keep the RPMs in a safe area. And it is pretty high stress uh, doing this. I've actually had to do this chasing people. I was once on a road like this in deer season, chasing a guy about 50 miles an hour in a high speed chase down a two track. Whoa. Okay, let's see, where's the road here? Okay. Curves can be difficult, and also if you have any obstructions, and also of course if you have to turn around. Um, I'm gonna be approaching the snowmobile trail here, and I'll probably turn off the camera for a little while and sit here and check some snowmobilers. Out in the middle of nowhere, they won't expect it. As soon as I hit the intersection of the snowmobile, I'm gonna stop and find a nice little spot to uh, watch these guys go by. I'm making this curve here. Hopefully I can make this. It's about the last obstruction I've got. Uh, tires are spinning. These Chevys have this, in my opinion, ridiculous traction control for people that don't know how to drive a four-wheel drive, and mine's sticking right now, so the tires just want to spin and I can't stand it. So I've got to get it into the shop and try to get that problem resolved. I've had nothing but problems, problems with the traction control since getting this truck. Other than that, the Chevy is an awesome truck. It rides really well. Um, sometimes Chevys are known to be not as good of a four-wheel drive vehicle as Fords. Fords and Dodges can be pretty heavy duty, but nothing beats the ride of a Chevy. I put a lot of miles on my truck every day at work, sometimes two, three hundred on a good day. Um, so I got a little drift here. Let's see if we can get through this. And a little tree, I'll slow down for that, but not too much. Okay, good. Made it through that one. Now I gotta get back on the road. Hopefully I make it here. Approaching the pipeline. Check the power the power line. Pipeline comes first. Ooh, we got some drifts here. This might be interesting because I had to lose my momentum. I would have been fine. This is where you run into trouble. I'm gonna keep my wheels straight. I'm try to plow through those drifts. Made it fine. Okay, one last tree down. I gotta slow down my speed a little bit so I can stay on the road. This is just a little branch covered in snow. Shouldn't be a problem as long as I can see. Woo! Almost to the snowmobile trail. Come on, baby. Okay, it's going a little squirrely. There we go, got the wheels straightened out. You can hear my computer on its port uh, bouncing around here. And whoa, I can see the trail. Well, I could. And here it is. I'm gonna get up on the trail before I stop. And then I'm gonna back up off the trail so that I don't obstruct any snowmobilers. I have to get out and fix my windshield, so it's perfect timing throw it in reverse and get off the trail now that I've made myself a pad backwards. So I'm going to clean off my windshield, defrost my window, fix my windshield wipers, back up off the trail. Hope you enjoyed the ride.